So, just come over here to Callus to pick up a package, and if anybody recognizes this type of bag, who follows me, probably knows exactly where it's coming from. So let's dig in. T-shirt, and it says Cletus, and it's green. Anybody care to take a guess what it shows in the back? Mountain Bartle Ski. I can't wait to wear that with pride. So we're just getting ready to head back into uh, Canada and go through the Canadian border crossing. So we're going to declare our t-shirt that was only 20 bucks anyway and maybe they'll make us go inside and pay some uh, tax, maybe they won't. We'll see. It was a t-shirt, okay. 20 bucks American, and my lunch. Any recommended other parcels or packages? No. Any alcohol tobacco? Nope. Great. Thank you. on the 36 Dodge. As you can see the fenders are not on yet and I will explain why. So the long and the short of it is when the clear coat went on it had a reaction somehow and it come out with a grayish tint and we didn't see the gray tint uh, when we had it inside but as soon as we brought it out into the sun you could kind of see a haze. Although the color matched up on the paint really good the clear coat was just it was maddening is what it was. What dad is doing is he is sanding down the fenders one more time, re-clear the car without the fisheye reducer in it. Because the fisheye reducer is what he used uh, in this batch um, because of the curves and this and that. Of course we operate in a shop and things are dirty and greasy here too so uh, he's going to try it without the fisheye reducer in it this time and see if that uh, has any effect on the outcome of the clear coat this time. So. We are counting down the days. We've only got a few days left to go before graduation and getting this car ready to go for my niece. And let's hope that by the end of the day today we'll have some color and some clear coat back on these things. Allow them some curing time before they get mounted back on the car. Once again, we're into a different vehicle now. And the gas lights on so it is now Wednesday and the fenders are clear coated once again 
This time, I can't really tell whether the clear coat had the reaction or it didn't uh, because it's inside. We won't be able to tell that until we get outside, but so far, it looks good. I can see a little bit of dirt in the clear coat, but when we wet sand it, uh, most of that stuff should come out and give us a really nice shine once we polish it, pat, polish it back. Hopefully Dad's impressed with this one and be able to get these fenders mounted back on within the next couple of days, probably by the weekend. And at least that's I think is what his goal is because he wants to be able to get this car out, drive it, um, get a few miles on it before he goes too far with it and uh, doesn't want to head out of town type of thing. So. Also, we did get the, or he did get the uh, trim rings for the windows. These are the inside trim rings, and uh, got those sprayed with uh, clear as well as some color, and get those installed again. Because as you can tell, the trim rings are not there at the present time. So what they do is they'll go on, clip on like so, and these little spring clips here hold them in place at the top. As far as the uh, interior goes all he's got to do is put a floor in and uh, finish up a few little pieces and another addition to the car probably since the last time I did an update is this screen and what that screen is going to be for is a backup camera and as you can see the backup camera is installed already if you're wondering why the license plates all taped up it's because we had to take it down for an alignment and put the dealer tag on the car and as you can tell from the alignment, they were able to get things lined up within spec and keep it in the green. Because before, things were out quite a bit. So with any luck at all, the 36 Dodge project is on its way to completion. And hopefully, uh, like I said before, by the end of the week, we should be able to at least get it out on the road. Go for some test drives, make sure that everything's working the way it should be. Uh, not that we doubt that it would, but you just never know. We don't want any mishaps while we're dropping... Uh, well, the, while my niece is getting dropped off to her prom, because that's generally embarrassing. I've seen that happen before with different people, so. Anyways, boys and girls, there she is. She's getting closer and closer every day. afraid to give it a black because it's Grampy's car. Yeah. It, it is a Dodge after all. Here's the Dodge too. <laughs> uh uh, mine's a Chrysler. And there you have it guys. The 36 Dodge Dodge project is getting closer and closer every day. So as you can see all we got left to do is a bumper and license plate on the front. Because in New Brunswick we have to have a license plate up front too. And we have to have some new wheels and tires. So, as it sits right now, it is drivable, it's inspected, and uh, we're going to get it licensed up today so we can drive it. But in the meantime, we're going to show it off.
So it's the end of the day on Friday and I'm getting ready to go home and instead of taking a vehicle off the lot I'm going to get dad to give me a drive home so that I can drive my car for the weekend. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend and uh, as a bonus we're taking that. Be my first drive in this car. Turn the AC on. Yep, turn the AC on. Double AC. Well, we've got seat belts on don't we? I never thought of it the other day when I was driving. Give her the beans. Right. Give her the beans. <laughs> well guys, as we end this week, I am going to end this video, this video update on the 36 Dodge. I'm in my old car right now, headed down to the campground to enjoy a nice relaxing weekend. So guys, I really appreciate you tuning in. I say it every video but I truly mean it. If you like what you see, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. We'll see you guys in the next upload.